Hello, YouTube people. <laughs> um, I'm changing it up today. I am working on my Cricut enclosure. And um, yes, I keep my Cricut enclosure in my main living room. Um, I treat crickets like they are my pets. It's a little untraditional, I understand, but I have a big heart. And when you have to have crickets and you have to have them alive and flourishing, um, yeah, that's what I do. I make sure that they have a good place to live. So I am in the process of filming this for you. So you can just see what I've put together. Um, I'm getting ready to put about 500 of them in there and um, yeah, so let's go through this, okay? Um, I have a little bit of a, what, what, what you would say, maybe a hobbit or an elf um, set up. Uh, it's pretty cute. I, I found this at Hobby Lobby last year and it has a little door on it. Um, the bridge, you can get at any pet store. Um, and of course, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And that goes for all the animals. So anyway, I make sure that I have um, isopods and springtails. Their job is to eat the cricket poop. If you set up a natural environment for crickets, you will never smell that disgusting smell that crickets can't help but produce. And that is basically the smell of their food as they push it through. So, um, yeah, if you set up a bio tank for your crickets and treat them well, um, you really don't have to do much. The isopods will eat all the stinky cricket poop and you will never even know they were there. So I can't stress it enough. There's nothing wrong with treating crickets with respect. There really isn't. Um, a lot of people, that's okay. They decide to put them in something and pull out, you know, what they need and put them in egg cartons and all that. And I do put some egg cartons in here, don't get me wrong. Um, right now, they're going to be famished from traveling a little bit to get to me. Um, but my other ones are in there already, and they're excited. So, yeah, this is what this is what I do personally. You can do whatever you want to do. There's no judgment here. But anyway, it's a pretty good-sized tank. It's a 40 uh, breeder, and... Um, I've had it now for about six years, and it's worked beautifully. Um, I can't stand this, like I said, the smell that crickets give off, but if you set up a tank where you have isopods in there and you put substrate in there um, and set up something for them to be warm um, and plenty of clean food and water, you're not even going to know that they're there other than at night you'll hear, cr hear crickets which we happen to love so right here is a cute little wishing well and i went ahead and put um a little bit of cricket food in there this is just a cute little arch and when i need to get crickets out basically what i do is just pick up i pick up this coconut husk and they're always inside there so then i pop it and I put them in another container and I'm on my way. And then another group will go in and fill it up and it's just very organized. So I don't have to tear up my tank to try to catch them because I'm the worst cricket catcher in the world. Um, anyway, so this is a cute little bridge and you'll get some that just want to sleep underneath. And I love this little hobby house. It's so adorable. It's got a little swinging door. Um, and then of course your gel and the food. This is, this is new. Uh, I had one for several years and this is one of those, um, you can get them at pet, any pet store. Um, it's the moss and it's shaped like a, it's got an opening on both sides. You know, the last one lasted for about five years, believe it or not. I just kept putting water on it and moss. I'm a big fan of moss. All of my enclosures have moss. 
The crickets love moss, the frogs, the toads, everything loves moss. And I used to think that moss just needed water, but really you just have to have some light and you don't have to get crazy with the water. Just water it when, it's, when it feels really crispy dry. Uh, but it's alive and it's pretty cool. And yeah, it'll get different colors. It'll get brown, but the, the most important thing is they love it. And if they love it, they're going to be happy. That's good energy. If they're happy and they have good energy, then guess what? Whatever you're feeding them to is going to feel that energy. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but it's an absolute truth, okay? Um, the better you are to your feeders, the better the meal will be um, for your reptile. I guarantee you, you don't have to have an expensive enclosure. I love teaching people that you don't have to have an expensive enclosure. I think, in fact, I got this tank at Petco when it was a dollar a gallon. And if I remember correctly, the lid cost more than the tank. But I've had this tank now for six years, not a problem. And it's I think it's an actual aquarium tank. Um, so it, it never leaks. So, But nevertheless, this is the setup. I think it's cute. It makes me happy. And at night, all I have up here, I have one small power sun. Okay, I've got the, um, here, let me show you. Zoomed, okay. Um, this is a Zoomed double. It's not real huge. Just enough. I, I've got the, uh, I use a power sun. You don't have to use power sun. That's a pretty, um, I don't think they need all of that UVA, UVB, but um, I just happen to have one, so I'm using it. And then at night, I just put this black light heat lamp, heat light on, on them. See? Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So, um, I used to have uh, a heating pad on the side. You can do that too. Um, they just want a place to go that's warm when they're not, when they're cold. That's it. And you don't want them too hot and you don't want them too cold. So anyway, I hope everyone is having a really blessed day. You deserve it. And there's a lot going on in the world. But just remember, God is good. We're going to get through whatever is thrown our way. And um, the power of prayer, it is beyond. It can move mountains, okay? So whatever situation you're in, whatever you're going through, surround yourself with as many animals, even if it's just taking a walk outside. And remember, talk to God. Talk to God every day. I can't stress it enough. Um, you don't have to be a religious nut. You just have to have a relationship, okay? And that's how I feel. And it's all connected to animals and just being good to animals. It will come back tenfold. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it's just a little fun video for you. Um, and just get creative, you know? You don't have to do what I'm doing, but just get creative and have some fun. And again, have a blessed day, everyone. I love the comments. I love the conversations we're having. And um, keep me updated on whatever it is you're doing right now. I love hearing your progress. Have a great day. This is Pam White, and I will talk to you soon.